Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirajul Akfazi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk on multiple displacement reactions and the coupling of ATP cleavage to intergonic process. This is very important topic and this topic is related to semester third of bioorganic chemistry MSc. So let us start learning of multiple displacement reactions and the coupling of ATP cleavage to intergonic processes. You know in ATP ATP means adenosine triphosphate. The phosphate group, this is your phosphate group, nearest to the ribose is termed as alpha phosphate, this group, while the other phosphate are labeled as beta and gamma, this phosphate and this phosphate. You know adenosine diphosphate and adenosine triphosphate. This is the structure. This three phosphate, that's why this is tri uh, phosphate. Are involved in oxidative phosphorylations. This is the questions where we will talk about. In the cell, the conversion of ADP to ATP is used to store energy. This energy can become readily available by conversion of ATP to ADP. This energy producing system is a cyclic process in the cell. ADP plus phosphoric acid I means S3PO4 and this amount of kilo calorie energy per mole. It gives ATP and produce water. Further ADP water it gives ATP and this S3PO4 phosphoric acid and this amount of energy. This is very basic reactions we all know that. Moreover ATP is one of the most important compound in the cell since its two terminal phosphate group are linked by high energy phosphate bond that it, it has two energy rich bond. It has high potential for group transfer depending on the nature of the bond of the ATP molecules which react it can transfer flowing four different types of groups. You know my friend transfer of orthophosphate group with the release of ADP, transfer of the pyrophosphate group with the release of AMP, transfer of adenosyl monophosphate group with the release of pyrophosphate an activated compound and transfer of adenosyl groups with the release of orthophosphate as well as pyrophosphate. So look at this scheme, reaction of ATP. Now you understand this is one phosphate, second and third. So cleavage from here, cleavage from here, cleavage from here and the reactions. So you have the this, this structure, this structure, reaction, reactions with the ROH, ROH. So, out of, of the four reactions, now you can see the reactions A, this reaction is the most common in case the orthophosphate reside, residue is transferred to water, hydrolysis results Enzymes catalyzing this reaction are known as adenosine triphosphate. This is known as ATPases. ATPases. Now look at the reaction B. Reaction B transferens of a pyrophosphate group occurs rarely. One example is the conversion of ribose 5-phosphate to 5-phosphoribose 1-pyrophosphate, PRPP. The reaction C transference of 
uh, adenosine monophosphate is again a quite common. The reaction transfer of the adenosyl residue plays a part in the formation of the active methylene group or active methyl groups. My friend, it is important to note that ATP is not the only reactive triphosphate. Other purine or pyrimidine bases may take the place of the adenine in the molecule. The corresponding triphosphate replaces ATP in several metabolic reactions. You know, in general, by analogy with the AMP, ADP, and ATP, the nucleoside guanosine, uridine, cytidine, and inosine from GMP, GTP, GTP, UMP, UDP, UTP, CMP, CDP, CTP, IMP, IDP, and ITP. So the ATP in this process become available to drive all those processes which requires energy. Actually, the number of examples where ATP is utilized is as great as the number of type of physiological work carried or carried on by the cell. You know, a summary of various processes involving intergonic reaction is represented here. You can see first ATP, 2 give ATP, 3 give ATP, 4 ATP, and then synthesis, muscular contraction, nervous excitation, active transport, intergonic reactions. This is the exergonic reaction. So ATP has a common currency of bioenergy. Thus, ATP represents the energy currency of the cell. My friend, now let us discuss one example. Synthesis of benzoyl glycine to show how ATP is used. The synthesis of benzoyl glycine, hippuric acid, does not proceed spontaneously as written below. So, benzoic acid, glycine, hippuric acid or water. Actually, the synthesis occurs in the animal body by expenditure of the chemical work that it is intergone. Benzoic acid ATP, it gave benzyl dehyde, benzoyl adenylate, and pyrophosphate enzyme bond. Benzoic acid plus coenzyme A, benzoyl coenzyme A, AMP. This is an game enzyme, benzyme uh, bond. Both the above reactions are reversible because in each case the bond broken and bond formed are energetically equivalent. Now, once the benzoyl coenzyme is formed, it reacts with the amino group of glycine to form hippuric acid. So, benzoyl coenzyme A plus glycine, it gives benzoyl glycine and coenzyme A. And this reaction is irreversible and takes place only in the right side because the energy level of the thiosh linkage in the benzoyl coenzyme A is considerably above that of peptide or imide in benzoyl glycine. Similarly, in other example where ATP is utilized, the same general pattern is followed that is direct reaction between ATP and the substrate occurs for case performed. An inorganic phosphate or pyrophosphate is produced from the original high energy phosphate bond. The same mechanism is believed to occur in mechanical as in muscle contraction. Uh, osmotic, as in the secretion, absorptions, and continue of functions, and the elliptical as in nervous impulses and work where ATP is utilized. So, my friend, addition and elimination reaction, you can see, and it is very common, you know, the addition and elimination reaction. These reactions are given by unsaturated compound in which the reactant add at the double bond, resulting in a saturated compound. So, in biochemical act, uh, activates, such type of reaction are common. For example, the reaction which takes place in citric acid, you can see fumidate, trans, and malate, malate L. So, fumidase enzyme we are using. This is an addition reaction which has a specific dimension. As a trans isomer of unsaturated dicarboxylic acid fumidase add a water molecule, at the double bond to give L isomers of L hydroxy dicarboxylic acid malate. The enzyme with fumarate does not interact with the isomer of an unsaturated acid or demalate. The stereochemical studies using deuterated water indicate that mechanism involves trans addition of D plus and O D minus 
at the double bond catalyzed by the enzyme. Look at this molecule trans addition of D2. Similarly, cis esponitic acid, which is an intermediate compound with the enzyme aconitase, add a water molecule to give citric and isocitric acid. One, one side citric acid is formed and the other side isocitric acid. The isotopic studies replace hydrogen with the deuterium in the substrate indicate that hydrogen and OH add a trans at the double bond. So this is the citrate cis aconitic acid and isocitrate. The stereospecific trans addition of water may be represented as follows. Behind the plane, this in front, this is isocitric acid, you can see. Now you know the elimination reactions. You know elimination reaction is are just opposite to addition reactions. In addition reaction, unsaturated compound are concerted into saturated compound, while in elimination reaction, saturated compound are converted into unsaturated compound due to intramolecular elimination of water, hydrochloric acid, or ammonia. Example in citric acid, cyclic succinic acid is oxidized into fumaric acid in the presence of succinic dehydrogenase enzymes. So FAD plus react with this and forming this. This is an example of 1 to orbital elimination reaction. In this reaction, succinate hydrogenase enzyme trans eliminating two hydrogen gives fumarate. Similarly, in close catalyzed glycolysis also involve elimination reaction. Look at this reaction. So, in this reaction, the unsaturated product is obtained due to elimination of water molecule from the substrate. Here you can see. So my friends, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this type of video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.